right, guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Big Tex 14 GN. This is a 15,900 pound GVW gooseneck deck over. It's got uh, 28 foot of flat wood deck, 5 foot dovetail with the full width ramps, 33 foot overall length. Pretty much everything you see here except the full width ramps is standard equipment. We'll get a look at the full width ramps on this. So they're nice because they level out a flat level 33 foot. They also give you some extra usable lengths. So typically you got fold over ramps and you lose that space. This, you gain a fair amount of it back. You'll see it's on a little bit of an angle. Uh, some might ask why and the quick answer is one of them you can see those lights a little better than the other. If this was standing straight up in the air, you would have uh, limited visibility of those lights. But as it is, you can see uh, your stop turn tail lights at the rear. So again, full width ramps. We've got on this is an option, but again, we put that on most of these particular units. Starting out up front, I'll show you all the standard equipment on this. It's got a two and five sixteenth inch gooseneck ball, same as most. It does have the uh, spring loaded setup up front. Of course, you've got your latch safety handle, uh, set bolts, seven pin RV blade plug pretty much standard equipment on most all pickup trucks nowadays probably in the last 20 years they've all got the seven pin blade uh one nice thing about this at the end of the plug you can see it's got the color um indicators on it so you know uh, which function goes to which color uh cold weather sealed wiring harness is nice stays flexible down to negative 65 degree temperature uh, another nice feature on this is a zip breakaway cable if you're not familiar most of them uh, sometimes drag on the ground, etc. get ripped off. This one flexes, cools, nice setup. Of course, your safety chain standard equipment, you've got a holder up in the neck. Uh, dual jacks, front toolbox standard equipment. It's also got your vertical to horizontal neck doubler, I call it a gusset, uh, up front. Makes it nice, gives some extra strength. Uh, I really like the way Big Tex does the jack holder. Sounds like a little detail, uh, but I just like it a lot better than most in the industry. Again, sounds simple, but use them all. Uh, most of them just aren't adjusted right. It's the best way I can put it. Uh, grease dirt on your uh, handle extension bar, which is nice. Uh, jacks on this are bolt-on. If you ever need to replace it, easy to do so. Same with the lumber. If you wear your lumber out uh, over time, it's simple to do. You simply pull that off, put your new lumber down, and go. On the back side of the neck, typically this would be channel or sometimes formed uh, cross member, form channel. This is actually tube, both top and bottom. Just makes it nice, makes it a lot stronger. It's also four inch, not three inch. But again, that's boxed out tube on the back of the neck where you're going to have your, your uh, highest degree of flex. Uh, tie downs, you've got rub rail. Uh, and then you've got stake pockets on two foot centers with a chain or pipe spool in between. This is also going to be a three eighth rub rail as well, not a quarter inch. Side steps on both sides. And then you've also got a grab handle uh, to help with getting up onto the deck itself. High tensile steel. Uh, one thing I'll point out, you can see this is a pierce beam trailer. If you're not familiar, I'll show you underside. This is a pierce frame or pierce beam, gets you down to a 32 inch deck height as opposed to the industry norm, which would be 36. That four inch makes it nice. Uh, one, if you're loading anything taller, it's four more inches you can haul. But more importantly, if you're the guy loading equipment on the back of this, it's four less inches you have to climb uh, to get your, your uh, items on the deck of the trailer. So if you're not familiar with pierce beam, normally you're gonna have a cross member that's gonna sit on top of the I-beam and then you'll have wood that'll run parallel to the beam. On a pierce beam design, it's actually going to run that cross member right through the beam and then the wood on top and sits uh, just about a half inch above the beam. Reason for that, you want the, uh, the, the, the friction of the uh, lumber uh, on your material. So again, plenty of tie downs going down the trailer. You've got a mid marker light. Dexter brand axles, brakes on both. 7,000 pound axles. It's got a slipper spring suspension in between the tires. Uh, tire itself is going to be a 23580 R16. That's a 10 ply uh, radial tire, load range E. 
It's on a black mod wheel, six on five and a half lug pattern. It's gonna have a Dexter never adjust brake assembly. If you're not familiar, it's gonna adjust similar to a vehicle. Uh, very minimal maintenance required on them. Uh, also, it's got the Easy Lube hubs. If you're not familiar, behind that black cap, there's a greaser. Most homeowners with basic hand tools can do their own bearing maintenance. There's also a reinforcement on the front side of the front axle hanger. Uh, just gives some extra support. Uh, if your guy does your own, uh, say, service, 80-pound air in the tires is your max pressure. Uh, I believe this has 9 16 studs instead of half-inch as well. Uh, you typically see half-inch, but these are a little bit heavier. I believe those are going to take about 140 foot-pound on your torque um, if you're having your wheels, taking your wheels off. Uh, you do have that uh, rub rail and stake pocket extend to the back beaver tail, so it doesn't just stop here you've got tie downs all the way back uh on a five foot tail i would say let's say you're hauling a pickup truck you're probably going to net about three additional foot of usable space with these ramps so this is a 28 plus five depending on what you're hauling i'd say you probably have a good useful 30 foot with the ramp up 33 of course with the ramp down uh fairly simple in the ramp you've got enough spring on this but it doesn't take a whole lot to get it up and down. It is a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but can be done. So they are made, you can stand it up like that if you need to. Gives you full width loading. If you're loading equipment. Again, this is a 12 inch I-beam mainframe. Should also point out, this is important to hot shotters, uh, this has a channel side rail, which seems to be the preference among most in the hot shot industry, if that's what you're using this for. Uh, some use tube side rail, and tube's okay, but it will rust from the inside out if you get a lot of, uh, a lot of corrosion, a lot of miles, if you're running in not the best conditions. Some of your, I'll say, cheaper ones are, are going to use a uh, angle iron side rail, where I've even seen flat stock. Channel's nice, gives you the structure you need, but also makes it to where you can clean it out and get that uh, salt nice and that out of there. So again, it's a 28 plus five. It's also available in a 20 plus five, 25 plus five, 28 plus five. And then uh, you can also do a, a 35 plus five as well. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out at 724-864-1449. Or you can visit us at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.